Hey Savers, this is Super Summer Guy Barbecue, and today we are going to get ourselves not just one pro, but two pros. And you probably know where those are coming from, but, well, let's be honest right now, I, every pro I get seems to come from a King of the Ring. So we're going to claim some King of the Ring awards later on, and it's going to be a pro, which is awesome, awesome stuff. And we're also going to get ourselves a Legendary Fusion, which is always amazing. And we're also going to play some of the team event. Now, what I'm going to do, the team event is actually a uh, quite a couple of decent cards there. Uh, nothing amazing, but me and God, G-O-D, just wanted to give them guys a quick shout out. A couple of them are actually grinding right now. A lot of them have decided not to. Uh, me, Mikey, and Fred have still not started. Um, but I will start now. I'm actually going to try and get this because... Uh, there is a card in there I want quite badly, uh, which we'll talk about later on. So I'm just going to just grab myself some titles. We're going to start off with the Uso Crazies, and then we're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up with Supercard over the next couple of weeks, because there is... We haven't had one of these discussions in a while, and you kind of hypothesize about what's going to potentially happen. Now, obviously, you've got Money in the Bank coming up. I've got EGX coming up because, obviously, Money in the Bank's only got, like, seven days left. You've got to start going for that Brock Lesnar card because I've only I've not actually got one of them yet, and I really need to start pushing for it. Um, it's one of those things where you, you just kind of don't really want to go for it because you're kind of thinking, why well, the next ones are better? Because I don't know if you remember, but the first Money in the Bank awards in WrestleMania tier were the Seth Rollins and that amazing Roman Reigns card. And then this time, uh, you've got the uh, Brock Lesnar and the Orton card, but the second set of Money in the Bank cards are actually better than the first ones in terms of their overall usefulness in the game. So you kind of wonder, should I just be saving these contracts? Are you pushing and just getting as many contracts as possible? Because a lot of people are doing that. I just haven't had the time to do it recently. I've had a lot of stuff going on recently. So I've not had the time to do that. Um, so for me, it's just going to be a case of getting... I imagine whilst I'm at EGX this weekend, and if you don't know about me going to EGX, go onto the video I'm going to put up here and you can see details about me going to EGX, sorry, over there, uh, because um, EGX is an awesome event and I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. But basically, uh, I'm going to probably have some time then to be able to grind because I don't know if you guys are aware, but you know, when you go to game conventions, all you're doing pretty much is just queuing constantly. So it's going to be uh, interesting to see how much I can get done during that. I probably will go quite hard now just to see if I can push myself for maybe a couple of you know extra cards, maybe a couple of extra credits, tokens. And obviously, if you guys want to meet me over there, I'll probably be hanging over there. There'll be 2K17 stand and definitely obviously hanging over the Titan for Gears of War I really want to play. And also, of course, Battlefield 1 as well, as well as just random other games as well. Um, so let's just grab these two cards here. What we're going to do is we're going to segue out after the end of this match here, and we're going to go straight to... Our Legendary Fusion, first of all. Then we're going to do some King of the Ring awards. And then you're going to see me pro my first Diva Pro. And what you're going to see there is you're going to see me actually using the tokens and whatnot. Not that it's really that surprising as to what I put the tokens on. But basically, it's still Diva Pro. It's still going to help me in King of the Rings. And yeah, it's going to be freaking amazing. So shout out to God, who are awesome. And hopefully this time I'll get more than 100 points. Because usually I don't get very good points in a, in basically any event. Because so the last couple of months, a lot of people have criticized me for what I do in team events. It's been really difficult to grind. There's a lot of things that have been going on. And it's just crazy. So um, basically what we're going to do now is just segue out. We're going to go into Legendary Fusions. And then what we're also going to do is get King of the Ring Awards. Which is going to be a pro. I guarantee you it's a pro right now and then we're going to move into proing that first pro diva and then you're going to see what card i get a second pro of which is awesome it so you're gonna get the legendary fusion what do you think it's gonna be carlos oh uh, i have a feeling it's gonna be uh spin you think it can be a bit this could be a again spin. spin it's always spin so let's get fusion chamber double two ready to game results 250 people in the stream. What's Boo! I've got a feeling it's gonna be Vince. Yeah. Got a feeling it's gonna be Vince. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty all round. And and he failed in a previous team. Oh. His team failed. Okay. He, he's from Europe. Yes. Europe. 
Okay. He has an old wife. <laughs> he has hot wife. <laughs> yes. Oh god, is this it? Or maybe a husband. Bruce of Madria. Yes. Bruce of yeah. So at King of the Ring, so I was in the King of the Ring with Rasangan, um, who absolutely kicked my ass. Now this is actually quite funny, okay? I put in my untrained, or not my, my untrained, but my trained version of Dana Brooke, thinking I was going to train up this Dana Brooke and then be able to use it. I put in the one that had already been trained. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wasted an entire King of the Ring, although I was in one with bots and this Rasengan guy who beat me in the end. 3-2, um, 3-2, three 3-2, to two, uh, three to two, three to two, so we got to the end. And I had my assistant manager on. I wasn't that desperate for a WrestleMania card, by the way. Uh, what are we going to do now? Lots of guesses in the chat of who I'm going to get. WrestleMania is going to be a SummerSlam only card. This is the second time I finished second, and the last time I finished second, I think I got a really pants reward. So, I'm not that positive about this told me that they reckon they are going to get gotched and they're winning their king of the ring and I'm going to get rocked which would be a pro for me but even in fairness to be a pro uh, we've had already had a guess of Finn we've already had a guess yes. we've already had a guess of Gallows and a couple others uh, the face that runs a place which one though that's the question the face that runs a place hopefully hoping this is a pro because that would carry on my streak of ridiculous luck um, so <laughs> I'm really hoping. Yeah, you do have ridiculous luck. So well, yeah, I do. Pro. I do. And talk about ridiculous luck. My luck in team events has changed a lot, Jerry. Why do you think that's changed a lot? Uh, you've got the. Uh, you joined a better team, probably. Well, not just that. Yes, I am in God. But the the card, the SummerSlam card for this week's Team RTG is Xavier Woods, which and is a pro for me. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky bugger. I've only been waiting for how long? Sorry? The entire tier? Well, that, that's only two weeks or something, right? Two or three weeks? No, we're talking... Actually, hang on a second. Six weeks. Six? Six weeks. Oh, damn. <laughs> six weeks, that's, um, one, that, that's two events per week. Yeah, six well, weeks. Yeah. No pro. So, um, I'm happy. Trust me. Okay, happy. Yeah, yeah, you deserve it then. I'm happy. <laughs> So, what we're going to do is get to get that get random feather just running through in front of my face. Uh, we're going to get it right now. We're going to get this card. I'm going to claim it rewards. Summer Sun card. We're going to do a speedy chair of death. Ready? <gasps> Set. Yes. Go. Woo! Woo! Haha. -hoo. I hope this is good. But I reckon it's going to be terrible. I think it's going to be a pro because you are lucky. <laughs> uh, let me think of a hint. Which is not too obvious. He's pretty, pretty charismatic. Pretty good on the mic. Okay. He's pretty strong. He's pretty strong. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I need more hints than that. That's that's really good actually. Okay. Any more? Uh, let me think. I think if I if I give some more hints, it's good. He's good on the mic, and he's pretty scary. Uh. He's pretty scary. I don't want to meet him in a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> I would fucking run. It's a right arrow. It's a right arrow as well. Okay. Yes. He's also been buried on like multiple occasions. Ooh. Okay. So if that's the case, then surely it's gotta be Bray. Am I right? It's gone dead. Why is no one talking? <laughs> okay, so is it was Bray, yeah? Yeah, it was Bray. Woo! Bray White is a pro! Yeah! Yeah, you see, I, I said you were yeah. gonna get a pro. So hang on a second. <laughs> it's another pro from King of the Ring! Oh, what is life? This is crazy. I literally can't stop getting pros from King of the Ring. Yeah, I wish I had that look. <laughs> um, and you know what? I'm actually. This is actually kind of um, revealed that maybe going for PCC isn't the best option because I, if I'd gone PCC, I literally did PCC last time. I got Bray Wyatt just afterwards, and I thought to myself, "Crap, I could have gone for the top 50 and actually got myself a pro." Now this kind of justifies me not doing that, so I'm happy. Yeah, you got it anyway. Now, he's a pretty mid, nice. He's mid to top tier, so he's quite good, and it's the right arrow which I need. So I'm happy. And it's another pro, obviously. Happy days.
Happy days. But there's no point in me actually totaling this Dana Brook in pretty much anything but power and toughness. Uh, so I'm just going to literally level up in uh, so Dana, 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 whatever. People keep asking <laughs> me about it. Dana Brook in power and toughness. So I'm just leveling up in power and toughness right now. And then we are going to pro her for the first time. I actually just noticed this, right? Did you notice that the procs got up to 316? Yes. Stone Cold 316 said, I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to proc oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to proc your ass. That sounded really bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to get our first Diva Pro. Combine. Summer Sam. I haven't screwed this up. No, I haven't. Combine. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> there we go. Dana! Yes! You've done it. I did it. I spelled her name right. And it's my first Diva Pro, which is awesome. Uh, so, no matter yeah. how shit she is. She's pretty poor. It doesn't, but it doesn't matter. Pretty... It doesn't matter at the moment. She's pretty poor, but at the end of the day, it's an Eva Pro, and it's going to be better than any other card that's from WrestleMania tier, which is what I wanted. Just give me more Divas, please, and less single pros. That'd be fantastic. Now, you may have heard me mention in there that the card for this event is Xavier Woods. Now, I'd say an actual poll I have not shared with you guys, which I got recently. This is my last summer sample I got. Let's go to teams. And as you can see there, there is Bray Wyatt, which is pro. I actually leveled him up and pro him last night. You got Dana Brooke there. Yes, I'm getting it right. Dana Brooke, as you saw. And then you also have my most recent poll. Not quite as rigged as Edward. And I mean, go and check out Ed Edward's most recent polls. It's absolutely insane. But... Xavier Woods, last poll, most recent team event card. Maybe my event card luck is changing. I've got a feeling that this week's RTG card could be the same as last week's RTG card. The Summer Sam card, potentially being a Jericho, if we're maybe having a look at Jer uh, people who have been uh, partners in the past. It could also be just a complete NXT theme because they've not done one of those in a while. So let me know in the comment section below what you think the next RTG undercard for the Summer Sam card is going to be. But I'm happy I'm getting myself a Xavier Woods. I mentioned at the beginning about the next set of money in the bank rewards potentially coming very, very soon. Like seven or eight days for that to happen. We've also got fusions. Now, this is something I was talking about in previous streams about fusions potentially coming earlier. We know that this tier is probably going to be a shorter tier because season three is right around the corner. Are we going to see a new set of Money in the Bank rewards similar to what we saw in the uh, in WrestleMania tier where we start seeing the Diva now? Are we going to see a Diva's PCC sooner rather than later? Are we going to see potentially Fusion sooner rather than later? Given, as you might know from watching my channel before, that they're already in the game. They've already been put into the game. The only thing they don't have is the images for the cards. So the actual Fusion background, the actual card image itself is already in a WWE Supercard, so we potentially could have those pop up at any time. It could be any time. But I've got a feeling that it's going to be AJ Styles is going to be one of the cards that's going to be the money in the bank. I will also go out there and say, you know what, I'm going to say the triple threat match potentially that is going on. Uh, maybe they could do the Clash of Champions match, uh, which could be, obviously, we don't know yet, because Roman Reigns was supposed to be in that match, but maybe they could put him in the match tonight on Raw, for example. They could do Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, or they could do no Kevin Owens and just go for the uh, No Mercy pay-per-view, which is going to be a triple threat match between John Cena, Dean Ambrose, and then AJ Styles. And I would do anything for a picture like they've done with Kevin Owens, for AJ Styles. They love doing this whole thing with the champions now. As soon as they become champions, taking those transparent images that everyone loves online, especially for, for games like Supercard and whatnot. So um, maybe, potentially, they'll have that come up very soon. I'd love to get my hands on an AJ Styles event card or a Money in the Bank card. That'd be great. And uh, maybe we'll get some hints soon. I am going to be away effectively from Wednesday until the following Tuesday. So it's not going to be easy to be able to upload as much as I normally do. So just bear that in mind guys for EGX. If you do want to go and check out EGX details in the description below as well because we are literally three days away. If you guys would like me to do a vlog whilst I'm there, let me know in the comment section below and we'll see what we can do because I do obviously have a trusty iPhone with me so I can record stuff. I will see you all later. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel as well. That'd be great. Yeah, I've done 20 points already. Give me, give me a break, Kappa. One last thing, we always leave to the end of the video. I wonder what it is. Oh yeah, Sonic!